did it the correct way. I did it good. All right, I'm back. Um, what? What's up with Tickler's legs? Oh, it. What you talk? His legs, the um, his things blend in the same color, so it looks like he was just running on nubs, like running on nubs in the air. His uh, his uh, thingies. What's the thing he's called? Uh, not armbands. His uh, knee garter thingies. I can't think of the name of it. It, it, it was the same color as the parking lot. So, I'm like, what is going on here? What's, what's up here now? <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Stephanie. Typing away. What is she typing at? I do not know. Is she going to go hit the bench? What's up, Stephanie? Nice job on winning the Battle Royal last week. You looked a little off at times, but you pulled it through. Uh, yeah off but to business at hand to beat the undertaker you'll have to get inside the undertaker <laughs> you've got to walk a mile in his shoes you have to get now inside back at wrestlemania 18 he battled a crafty veteran in a no disqualification match so tonight you'll battle a similar opponent in a no disqualification match whatever it takes yes i have to get inside get inside the undertaker Smell what the Undertaker smells. Eat your locker room now. Oh man, angry butt sex or something. It's like it's kind of angry. Angry? Why, man? Calm down. You want over here? Okay, I thought somebody was over there. <clears throat> Sup, Kane? Every year, there are more souls. I can't keep them all back anymore. We need the urn. It's the only way to contain them. You have to find the urn. Use it to contain lost souls. Okay. I have to find the urn. All right. Now, actually, like, out up to the here, like, I last thing I remember doing was the 15-man Battle Royale. And I stopped playing it, so I, I don't know what to expect. So I have to find an urn, and I have to put some souls in it, I'm guessing. And Stephanie has it? Where is the urn? Oh, there it is. That's the urn. Interact with it. I'd appreciate it if you didn't mess around with my personal items. But I need it, Stephanie. I'd appreciate it if oh, you didn't Stephanie. mess around with my personal items. But I need it. Okay, I'll ask her. Can I ask her for it? Don't you have a match? Didn't you hear? They lost the feed in the production truck. We've got dead air. They what? Oh no, I... Is she gonna get up and take care of it? Okay. And there goes Stephanie. Stephanie is running away. Did, did he just tell a fib? Like, that was a fib. Anyway, let's get the urn. Let's get the souls into the urn. Uh, okay, I think there's a soul there on the radar. Alright, so where, where did he put it? I need some wrestling tights, man. You can just duck. You can just stick anything in those suckers. Oh, there goes the soul. It looks like a chaos emblem. Well, let's suck it in there, right? That's some bad acting from Ziggler. He's just like, ah, put the soul in. Bad acting, Ziggler. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very bad acting. Alright, so, um, I guess, am I supposed to, like, check them? GM's choice, no DQ. So, I don't know who I'm fighting. Ah, oh, Fit Finley! 
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Seriously, that's racist. first. From Belfast, Northern Ireland, weighing 233 pounds, Finley. Because Irish people hold shillelaghs on the top. That's kind of racist. That's like a black person coming down the ring. I think I said it before. A piece of fried chicken. Or a slice of watermelon. Or a nice, cool, refreshing cup of Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Then again, I think I've also said it before as well. What was crime time during this time period? That 2008, 2009, 2010. Notice how 2012, it was like, okay, let's, let's get to the Let's get to the Some things are exactly what they see. <coughs> so, I will defy the things you dream. Build up a flip. You do a drop kick Santa Claus. Go check the scores again. Call mine a perfect ten. They broke the mold when they made me. They saw perfection. Perfection. They saw perfection. General manager is trying no to get DQ. Undertaker's so WrestleMania opponent to get into the already. dead man's head. Uh, He's not careful. Billy's really gonna yeah. cave his head in with that shillelagh. <laughs> shillelagh, shillelagh, shillelagh. He's enjoying this. This, this is, is how you bludgeon a man to death with a shillelagh. Undertaker had against Ric Flair. How do I get under here? Wait, wait, wait. Flair wait. held his own, but became yet another victim for the dead man. I stole him over there. Again, there this is go. no disqualification. Oh wow, That's look right. at that. If he finds an object under that ring, it's just as legal oh. as a headlock. I know. Yeah. Look out. Let's go use it. Sledgehammer. And there's the ladder. It's, it's, not, a it's not a ladder. A shot from the ladder. It's not a ladder. It's a sledgehammer. Oh, crap. I shouldn't have dropped it. I was trying to do a, a, a grapple. We're in the midst of a WWE oh, no time. disqualification match. And things are about to get extreme. I wonder if Stephanie McMahon's pep talk is spurring him on. Nobody wants the boss mad at him, that's for sure. Let's get under here. Uh-oh. Destruction is definitely on his mind Cheer. again. Cheer. Ah, yeah. oh, crap. Ah, oh, look at this. Hey, take a chair. Bam. Ah, oh, my nuts. Or wherever he punched. Watch out here. Can you find the audience? It looks like you can. Let's see if I could throw him there. Big impact into the guardrail. Looks like I can just. No, you can't. Don't look at this fight over there. Like, where all the freaks are at. Look at their legs. They're not even. Wait a second. They're not even sitting. And he's got a hold of that steel chair. These people are freaks. They don't even have chairs. What are they sitting? What is he sitting on? Oh no. Watch I'm not it. even looking at the match anymore. Hey. I'm like, what is Finley's building momentum? What are they sitting and Finley's on? Finley's come to fight. Creepy. All right, let's uh, let's let's get back into this. Oh, I'm just freaked out, man. Oh, it doesn't get more punishment that than that. Oh my God! Watch yourself, what a chair dude. shot. I can't ever run and swing. Oh, this match oh, could have been man, over that's... by now. He's gonna need this brutality if he wants to take Undertaker's streak. Yeah, man. Good lord, huge impact into that barrier. He just he just went down. Ah, look at this. Let's go fight up the ramp. Come on, let's go up the ramp. Come on. Looks fun over here. Oh, I'm all out of breath now. Playing my games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. I'm good now. Look at the agility. Dolph. <laughs> you can see the pain shoot through this superstar's body off that slam. 
Dolph. Yeah, he's done. Can I just like choke him on the new one? <clears throat> he's gonna tap. Tap. No, you want to. It's good for you. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you jerk. Refusing to give in there. What sheer determination. Watch out okay. here. Oh, and we go. Well, I was gonna say we're gonna go back to the ring, but he wants to beat me inside the ring. Fine, whatever. Yeah. Oh, and that one dazed him. Look at this. All right, let's get him. Let's roll him over. Oh wow! On, wrap his feet on the ropes. One, two, two, three, three. What a nice way to win. I guess that's supposedly putting that extra weight onto the uh, pinning opponent thing, and he's pinned. And uh, I don't know what to say. That's a statement victory right there. Undertaker may need to take heed. Billy wants to make oh, a little man. statement of his own. Oh. What's Undertaker doing here? Watch him like make it disappear or something. Supernaturally like oh. Okay. How surreal. Undertaker appears, helps his WrestleMania opponent, then vanishes. Oh, he just clocked him upside the head. Not even gonna attempt to make heads or tails out of that one. The main thing is, he defeated Finley and looks strong in doing it. He just clocked him upside the head with that. He's like, man. Okay, so what's next? Okay, there's a lot of souls here. Let's suck these souls in here. <laughs> oh, that was just, that felt so good. I'm so sorry, but that felt really good. Mm. Hello from Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha. Michael Cole. Okay, so is Kane okay? Is Kane like still spazzing out because of all the lost it's souls? It's good that you found the urn. Be prepared to use it. But also, be prepared for what happens when all the souls have been retrieved. Okay, I'm you intrigued. You clearly have issues. But what exactly are you talking about? He wanted this. Each of us did. Now he has to deal with it. All of us have. Some of us couldn't handle it. Okay, I'm intrigued. What happens when I collect all these souls? What's in here? Oh, sorry about that, dude. Oh, yeah, casket. <coughs> what the? What's going on here? Okay, I think that I have to collect all the souls and put it there. Okay, he's just gonna uh, politely sit down. Oh, what you doing? Uh, got a little water bottle here. I'm gonna go relax. Yeah, a big old casket here with some type of weird hoodoo coming out. Uh, I could care less. Uh, this is kind of funny. All right, let's go get. Let's. We'll come back to that, obviously. So let's go in the training room. It's another casket here. So what do you think caused it? I was in that Divas Fatal 4-Way last week. I, and I felt don't a care. All right, let's, uh, so two caskets there, All right? There's a soul there, because I don't, I doubt if they'll just put a casket in the middle. Or they will. Okay, there's definitely not two caskets over here. That's just stupid to have two caskets in the locker room, right? No, you see, it was it was kind of dumb. I knew that. That much I knew. All right, so I collected another soul, and uh, what's over here? 
Is that the soul? No, that's just the casket. So let's go to the GM. And um, did I go there? No, I went to the green room. And this is the green room. I've been there. I know that much. And the training room. Yeah, it's a casket there. So I think I've seen all these. Yeah, I did. Because I was like, I don't care what they're, they're saying. I care less. <sighs> so let's uh, go into the GM's office. See what Stephanie is doing. Like how they have that picture of Vince McMahon. Yeah, it's just, that's the real creepy thing. Caskets all around? No, that's that's normal. Picture of Vince McMahon? Creepy. Oh, and another one over there. That's creepy, man. All right, Stephanie. Nice going last week. Uh, you again? What now? You want me to emulate Undertaker's love of flickering the lights off and on? Yes. If you want to make history, you Nose need to Rock push to yourself. On, um, You've Sponge never Bob. faced the challenge that awaits you at WrestleMania. You're right. I'm listening. WrestleMania 19. The Undertaker took on two massive superstars in a handicap match. I'm learning How a lot massive here. are we talking here? Do world's largest and world's strongest the wor ring oh, any yeah. bells? Nobody said this was going to be easy. So, uh, Big Show and uh, Mark Henry. Because uh, that's the only two big people in the game that I can think of. No Bludgeon Brothers or anything like that, you know. Them dudes are freaking... Yeah, well, those are the, the dudes from the dudes, right? Who were the other dudes. But now they're the new dudes. The Bludgeon Brothers. But they were the dudes from before, right? Yeah, the dudes. Alright, so let's get started. We're going to take on Big Show. You know, a, a three meter tall Titan. And Mark Henry. Step up, bring it. Two meter tall, tight hit smiles. The following handicap match is Looks like he likes fried chicken. Introducing first. From Silver. Not because he's black. Boy, he's like he likes fried chicken. 118 pounds. He is the world's strongest man. Mark Henry. WSN. I couldn't think of an acronym. So <laughs> like, what should man do with the world? It's a weird looking smile. You know, it doesn't look real. It's just like. It's almost like a. Um, smiley face smile. And the partner. Standing seven feet tall, weighing 485 pounds, the Big Show. Super dark. 
I know today's kind of a rainy day. Just like, wow, what just happened? 